Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Well, sorry about the noise of the washing machine. I think it's going to cut out now. That's why I've come in to do this now. So, this is a cooking video with the Danny G. I'm going to cook for my family. First, I'm going to go and wash my hands, give them a damn good wash back and front. I've been marinated some meat for a couple of hours. Well, about four hours now. Chicken. I'll show you. And I'll tell you what's in it. So that is the chicken that has been marinated for about four hours. That there is Digby's. Yeah, my dogs. <laughs> this is ours, right? It's been marinating for about four hours in soy sauce, Worcester sauce, salt, pepper, and garlic, uh, garlic cloves, yeah? Right? Now I'm going to cut up all the vegetables for Danny's carbonara because believe me, it ain't normal. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm talking loud because of that bloody washing machine. The meat's ready. Yeah, now let's get on to the vegetables. Yeah, boy. Good meal, this. Really, really good for the family. Um, prepare it. Try it yourself. Put everything in the live pudding. Uh, cook it the same way and you will find that it is very, very nice. I call it carbonara because I use kind of carbonara sauces. But with the amount of ingredients I put in there, it comes out tasting lush. See you in a minute. So this is the ingredients you are going to need for this dish. Bacon. Fresh basil. Cheese. Your favourite cheese. Peppers. Shout out to James's mum. I've got some in the fridge. James's mum, who I train, the young lad who I personal train every weekend, she always brings me fruit or vegetables every week because she's a lovely woman, wants to keep me healthy and strong, yeah? Right, so shout out to James's mum for these peppers. She gave me them and I'll be using them today, chick. Yeah, boy. Garlic, a full red onion. Your chicken to be marinated, as I've already told you. The reason that's chicken's there, you can see all the fat and stuff on it. I cut all fat off my chicken, right? Off my chicken breasts. I don't eat no chicken breast with fat or nothing on. I cut it all off, right? So you want to be doing the same thing, yeah? And then you've basically got... I use this. This. I've washed my hands now, by the way, everyone. This, soy sauce, a bit of chilli powder, not too much, and pepper. Right, that all goes into the carbonara. You're going to need decent blades. You want a serrated edge, yeah? Serrated edge is very good for chopping through vegetables and stuff, right? Yeah, serrated edge, very nice knife. This sharp knife, slicing through... Bone like it's butter. <laughs> and then obviously this is my big chopper in case anything's stubborn. It'll get chopped. I'll probably use this on the garlic so I can squash it afterwards. Make sure your side's clean and off we go. Right then, let's get it on. The bacon will be cooked with the meatballs. Fresh basil. Always take it off the stalk. You're looking for the leaves, right? The stalk I will cook in the pan with the meat. So I will keep the stalk just for flavour. So I'll cook it in the pan and then I'll take it out, yeah? It's the leaves that I actually want. Do you know something? Basil, mate, smells lovely. It smells really nice, basil does, man. Do you know what I mean? So, this will kind of melt because the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna fry off the meat with some big cut vegetables, right? Um, and some garlic, some large cut garlic, right? I'll pull the garlic out because you don't wanna be eating big cloves of garlic when you're eating your food. Yeah, so basically, what I'll do is I'll cook it in the pan, I'll brown it all off, all the meat, I'll basically cook it virtually all the way, probably about 85, 90% of the way, virtually cooked, basically cooked, yeah, cooked, Just like, let's say cooked. Then, I start layering in a pan that I'm going to slow cook in the oven for an hour. That's how I do this. So it comes out melting your mouth, delicious, yeah, trust me. Right, garlic, the amount of garlic that I use in this dish... Right, is about, and yes, if you're wondering who marinated the meat and that, yes, it was all me. This is my dish. Tony can't cook this. This is something that I do. Viking meatballs is something else that I also do. Um, right, so for this, you want to get two large cloves. You're going to use two large cloves. You're going to use one, whoops, you're going to use one that's smaller. So one about that size, which is going to go in the pot. Oh, I thought it was going to drop. Which is going to go in the pot. This one, the bigger one, is going to go in the pan, right? Now, obviously, peel the garlic, 
I mean, obviously there's a lot of people out there, probably James's mum, I know you know how to do all of this. Yeah, but this is for the people who don't. So peel the garlic, hard end, cut the hard end off, dispose, right? So you're left with just that part of the garlic, yeah? Then we're gonna cut this into slices that are quite thick and quite big, about four of them. If I show you on my knife, about that big, yeah? Now that's gonna go in the pan. So what I do is I get, I haven't got them actually, I need to get them. So I get basically two plates. One plate is for vegetables that go in the pan. The other plate is for vegetables that go in the pot. So I don't mix them up, right? So we're working on the, on the vegetables that go in, well, and garlic, that's going in the pan. So on there. Now, also to go in the pan is going to be some large cuts the other garlic I'll cut in a minute. You'll see what I mean, trust me. Let me just face this up just a touch, all right? So now we're gonna do the onion, yeah? Same thing again. Well, not the same thing, watch. In fact, to do the ends, I use my serrated knife. End off, end off, yeah? So, end off, end off. Dispose of. The peel on the outside, watch. Score, and then basically you'll be able to take the one layer off. Take the one layer off. Are you enjoying cooking with Danny G? Little cooking channel going on here, you get what I mean everyone? This is a very hearty meal. Puts a lot of fucking beef on you, yeah. Good for after training this. This is really good for after you've been smashing the weights out, innit? Yeah, right? So, I'm gonna cut the onion. That fat, yeah? And then we're just gonna basically slice it down the middle. So you've got two halves like this. Put them in, right? That's gonna go in the pan with the meat. The rest of this will be cut for the pot. Right, pepper. Now I only put red pepper in with the meat, right? Same with the pepper. So with the pepper, you can cut it many different ways. The way I do it is literally, I just snap that, I just cut clean the top off, like so, and then you see the inside, I cut each part, so watch. Cut, 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 and then out it drops, yeah? Uh, clean any seeds out that may be left in there, and then you end up with like a perfect bell look, yeah? Right, now obviously we want some large ones, so I'm just gonna cut this straight down the middle, Straight down the middle, yeah? Straight down the middle, and then I'm gonna cut that section there into like five pieces. So one, two, three, four and five, yeah? This is just for flavoring in that pan, this. That will be cut up with the pot. Now the green one doesn't go in the pan. The green one just doesn't. It's just, this is my little routine. So the green one will be cut whole. The cheese will go in a bowl later, that's to go in the pot. Now, we have our stuff here on this plate, which is gonna go in the pan. I'm gonna pick this out, yeah? This will not stay in the pan, this will not stay in, the, this will not stay in, yeah? You can leave it in if you want to, but my kids don't like it. Me, I wouldn't be bothered, because by the time these have been softened down in the pan, trust me, and then been cooked, it wouldn't bother me. The only thing I would definitely take out is the garlic, but my kids moan, man, do you know what I mean, right? And also the basil stalk, yeah? So that plate there is what is going in that pan. Now, to chop up everything now for the uh, pot. Now, we have the basil that I've already chopped up in here. Now, the onion, you want to slice this small. Everything that goes in the pot wants to be small. So basically, the way I do it is I slice it like this. Fuck these, mother. Like this. Yeah. Slice it like this. Into sections like so, and if you look, I've sliced it like that, yeah? And then if you just turn it on that end, and watch.
Now obviously once you've got all your onion, you want to make it any smaller. Just run your blade over basically. But I run your blade over, I mean get it like that, point down and bang bang. Yeah, watch. Like this. And you can all tell by the way I do this shit. <laughs> But this ain't the first time I've done this. This is probably the fucking hundredth, yeah? Now we've got a nice lot of onion there for the pot on there. Spring onion smells nice, man. Smell that fucking health. Yeah, boy. We want to get big. We want to get strong. We want to be tonk. Plus, if you've got any kids, yeah, you want to raise them so that they're healthy, man. And this will make them healthy. Trust me, this is good stuff. Um, right, now, the other clove of garlic. So if you have the clove of garlic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly switch to the bad boy. Bang! Yeah! Bang! Yeah! Bang! Yeah! Bang! Yeah! Bang! Yeah! Bang! 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 Yeah! The big boy. We're going to get this clove of garlic. Right, we're going to peel it again. So when you peel this, you want to peel it down to the whites every time. One minute. Oh shit. One minute. I just need to drink a water. Yeah, so, try mouth. Peel it down to the white. Once you get it down to the white, we're gonna squash it. Right, so, again, you're gonna cut that dodgy end off, just a little tiny bit at the end. And then what you're gonna do with this now, is you're gonna cut it quite small, right? And then, so you're gonna cut it into chunks about that big. Then just basically get this on top. Squash it, squash the garlic. Do you know what I mean, right? And then, again, get this and just chop it up into little tiny chunks. And I'll show you what I mean by little tiny chunks. Tiny, tiny chunks, because this is what you wanna melt in the pot. You don't actually be getting any chunks of garlic in your mouth. You want the taste of it, but you don't want chunks in your mouth. So. Tiny chunks onto the plate that goes in the pot. Now, green pepper. I know for a lot of people, this is elementary, but I'm just showing for the people who don't know how to do this stuff. This is how you do it. Again, cut it out. Make a perfect bell. Now this time, this is gonna go in the pot. So is this, so we're gonna cut this quite fine. So, just cut it into chunks, and then I'll show you about how fine we want it. Right, so, yeah. So, we're cutting it. We're gonna cut it all about that big, yeah, all of it. All of the pepper wants to be about that big. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, so you're not bored while you're watching me, but at least you're getting to watch me cook, do you know what I mean? So you all got an idea of kind of what I eat. I eat this once a week, I do Viking meatballs once a week. So twice a week I have these hearty meals. My missus cooks a Sunday dinner every Sunday. Uh, every Saturday morning I do have like an English breakfast. I'm not gonna chat shit to you. Do you know what I mean? I have an English breakfast every Saturday morning, which my wife cooks, not me. Uh, my wife cooks spaghetti once a week. So theoretically, if you think about it, we're having Sunday dinner once a week, we're having spaghetti bolognese once a week, we're having carbonara once a week, we're having um, Viking meatballs once a week, right? <laughs> So that's the main meals that we kind of eat, which is very healthy meals. This kind of shit, man, is very, very good for you. It's very, very healthy. 
you will actually feel better if you eat this stuff. The body, the human body, thrives better with vegetables in it. And because this tastes so nice when it's done, and it does taste extremely nice when it's done. This is not a recipe, by the way. Before anybody asks, where did I get the recipe from? I didn't get the recipe from nowhere. I experimented with making carbonara myself, and I kept adding different bits and bobs here, different bits and bobs there, until I got it basically perfect, until it tasted perfect. Yeah, and this is now the recipe where it tastes perfect, yeah? But, like, it took me, I don't know, probably six or seven attempts of putting different stuff in until I got the perfect mix. I mean, marinating the meat is kind of important. It's not hard to do, you know. Do you know what I mean? It's not hard to do at all. You just put loads of soy sauce, loads of Worcester sauce, loads of salt, loads of pepper, a little bit of chilli sauce, mix it all in. Do you know what I mean? A few uh, garlic cloves. You take the garlic cloves out. Do you know what I mean, right? And just leave it stood for like three or four hours on a plate with cling film over it. And that way the, the meat will get kind of the flavour in it. So, because I mean, there's nothing worse than eating bland food. Do you know what I mean? Right, so now all these peppers here are going to go onto this plate. So now if you look, we've got, got, we've got a plate of vegetables now. Yeah, we've got an absolute plate of vegetables. So, an absolute plate of vegetables here. We've also got the big ones here. What I'm going to do, actually, because I don't give a shit what my kids say. My kids always moan because I do them too chunky, yeah? So the ones that go in the pan with the meat, because these will just be softer. What I'm going to do is, because if I cook these too small, they'll just disintegrate. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them into a third of the size so they're still really chunky. And this way, you might be able to get them soft enough so your kids bloody eat them. So I've cut them that big look. Yeah, and the same with these onions. I mean, they'll fold away in the pan anyway, but I'm going to cut them into quarters. Right, the garlic's going to stay because the garlic is coming out anyway. Right, but I want to try and keep these vegetables in because with my kids, they're like all kids, man. Do you know what I mean? They prefer not to eat vegetables, right? So I have to find ways of cooking so that they'll fucking eat that shit. Right, now, onto these. Uh, this will go in once the meat's been cooking for about five minutes. This thing I will stir around and all the juices in the pan and everything, yeah? Just to get the, a bit of the flavour out of the stalk and then I'll take it out. Same with the garlic. I'll stir it around, get some flavour from them big, them big pieces of garlic, yeah? And then they'll be coming out, right? Um... I'll see you in a minute. Over at the pan. Right then, we're at the pan. Now, heat this shit up really, really good, yeah? Heat it proper, proper up. Give it a proper good heat. Get it fully heated through. I cook in butter. Literally, a huge spoonful of butter. All right? Big spoon time. Oh. And a huge spoonful of butter. Heat that right up because when I tip this chicken in, now I'm going to tip all the juices and everything in with it, yeah? With it being marinating. Now, well, obviously, when I cut the chicken up, I drained it all, I washed it all, I drained all the juices off. It was fairly dry. And then I added my shit. So the only thing that's on there, there's no nasty chicken juices, trust me. The only thing that's on there is my marinade. And I want that marinade in that pan. All right? So first things first. I'm going to go and get my fat cut vegetables, right? The fat cut ones. First thing to go in is going to be the garlic. Yeah? And these fat ass pieces of pepper. First things to go in. Stir them around for about a minute, and then I'm gonna add the chicken. So. So even just with a bit of pepper and garlic in there and butter, it smells nice. Right, now this has been marinating for hours, man. I'm gonna drain a little bit of the juice off, I don't want quite that much, it's gonna blow up in my face. But not all of it, I want quite a bit of the juice in there. Right now, we'll listen to this. Oh, it hasn't sizzled as much as it normally does. It's a bit in my like. Now, you don't want the chicken to stick. Keep that shit moving. 
Put the chunks into whatever, whatever size pieces you want. I prefer the size that I've got here, I just do. Right, so. Now, the onions. That stalk of basil will go in last. Ethan, come here. I need to wake your mum up. And my wife's been at work, she's been at work for hours, so she's going to have a bit of a kick. I've been personal training today, but she's been at work for hours, man. I mean, I don't want her to have to do anything. <clears throat> so that's why I'm doing this. Um, I mean, I do have days when I do it every week, but especially if Tony's been working, do you know what I mean? I don't want to to have to come home and do anything. So she's in bed getting a bit of chilled time. But unfortunately, I've got to wake her up because I don't, I'm fishing out the garlic, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the pan is that I need to tell me I've stuff from me. And I don't actually know where it is. It's usually right below my legs, but it's not there. So I'm a bit screwed. I really need that, guys. There's the other one. And we've got garlic out, or the big pieces anyway. Right, so now I do want the other vegetables to cook in here, but only for a short period of time, yeah? So that chicken is virtually cooked now. Um, I mean, let me have a look. Let me break a piece in half and just check. Virtually, we're about, I don't know, 70%, I'd say. Maybe. Let's just cook it a little bit more. I want it virtually cooked before I put these vegetables in. Eve! Ask him on where the big pan thing is that I'll do the carbonara in. It was under my feet, but you can't be this one next to me. That's not big enough, I don't think. Unless your mum comes downstairs and says, that's the one, Danny. And then I feel like I write to her. It doesn't look big enough. It just don't look big enough. That's all all this. Usually I use like a black pot. But a couple of weeks ago, my missus bought a pan for the job. Like a new pan that I've never used before. So now the big pile of vegetables. All in. Garlic, the lot. All of it. Everything. Into the pan. The basil. Everything. We're going to cook this now literally for about two minutes. If that, a minute to two minutes, just get it in there and just get a little bit of the cooking process on the way. Yeah. Has your mum told you where it is? What, Go and ask it. I need to ask your mum. Well, you need to wake her up some because I, can't, I need the fucking pan. I don't know what she's done with it. It's usually under here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, you might need to spot on it. No. Nah, bro. So you need to wake her up. I can't, I need to fucking, do you know what I mean? It's a huge pan. Your mum's put it somewhere. I don't know where she's put it. Can't see you. I can't see you. The camera's facing me. I'm cooking. 
So we're back to the old black pot that I used to use because my missus is asleep and we don't want to wake her up. <laughs> right, so that's done now. So now we're ready to layer it in the pot. I'll take it over there and I'll let you, look, I'll let you see what it looks like in the pan. See you in a sec. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and there you go, everyone. That's what it looks like in the pan. That's kind of what you're aiming for, yeah? And then we're going to layer it. And I'll let you see what that looks like. Right, this is the... Um, well, I wouldn't say fun part, but yeah. So I'm going to crack these jars open, right? And then I'm just going to... I'm going to put the camera over the tub that I'm using so you can actually see what's going in there. Right. Now... First things first. So you see this creamy one, yeah? Right, in fact, you'll see me putting it in, you can see the pot. So basically, you see this pot? It's like a slow cooker pot, yeah? I'm gonna be using that, right? So, the creamy one, in, right? All of it. Something my mum taught me. Do you know when you put all the jar in? Go over to the sink, put a little tiny bit of water in the bottom, Put the lid on, shake the jar, you'll get all of it out. Yeah. So my son's over there grating cheese for me. Yeah, a little bit of water, lid back on. Give it a shake. Get it all out. Right? What I'll do is when I've, when I've put it all in there, mixed it all up, yeah? Then I'll put the camera over and let you see it. Right, next, we want... Soy sauce. I'll try and do this high so you can see how much I'm putting in. Watch. One drip. Well, it's not. It's about three drips. Two. Three. Worcester sauce. One. Two. Three. Salt. I'll show you my hand. Uh, about... Oh, shit. <laughs> About that much in the palm of your hand. Not too much and not high piled or anything, yeah? All right? I lost my man, so I'll put a bit more in. Pepper. Right, now, the chilli sauce is entirely up to you, yeah? It's your fucking choice, right? I'm not, I don't like spicy stuff, but I want to have a bit of a kick. So I'm just going to put a bit in. But like I said, it's up to you how much you put in, all right? If you like spice, put more in. If you don't like spice, don't put... I mean, I won't put too much in anyway because it will spoil the flavour. Right, now, we come to um, the meatballs. And, I mean, not the meatballs, the chicken itself. Well done. Right, so... Basically, yeah, and all of it in the lot, all of it, the juice and everything, all of it. Oh yeah, I've got some black shit on my pan on the outside, but trust me on the inside, it is spotless. Well, when it's cleaned, it is. Do you know what I mean, right? I've been using this pan for years. I won't let Tony get me another one. I just won't let her get me another one because it's a fucking sick pan. Keeps wanting a new one, but I just keep scrubbing it clean inside, man. Do you know what I mean? I like that pan. So once you've got all this in now, you're going to mix it all. Yeah? Mix it all in. Mix it all together. Right? Then, the actual carbonara sauce. In. All of it. Full thing. A little bit more salt, same same amount again. A little bit more pepper. Remember what to do with the jar. Oh, it's all come out. Fair play. Once that's done, give it a stir. And then the only thing left to add to this now 
is the cheese. Yeah? Um, and then all we're going to do is put it in the oven and let it slow cook for like an hour. On low heat though, yeah? So I don't know what heat it is, but say on your cooker, say if you heat, say if you put it down and it's halfway down, a little bit less than half. That's what I do, yeah? And then, last but not least, cheese. I use mature cheddar, sprinkle it on top, and you are gonna mix this in, because otherwise, if you put it in the oven, like, my missus, basically, when she bought the new pan, she got one with a lid on, and she was like, basically, this will stop it from, like, crisping on top. Do you know what I mean, right? So, mix the cheese in. Do you know what I mean, right? There's a lot of calories in this, I cook this with tangatelli, by the way, tangatelli or spaghetti with garlic bread, yeah? So tangatelli or spaghetti with garlic bread plus this. It's a very hearty meal. Very, very good for after you've been lifting weights, trust me. Right? And then we're going to put it in uh, the cooker. I'll be cooking it for like an hour or something in the oven, right? And then when it comes out, I'll pl when it's plated up, I'll take you a little video of what it looks like when it's plated up, yeah? And believe me, this shit tastes nice. It's got bare good stuff in it, bare stuff that's good for you in it, yeah? It's very, very healthy meal, full of calories, full of protein, full of good fats, full of everything that's good for you. It'll make you a beast. So try it out yourself, man. Let me know what you think in the comments, yeah? And I'll see you for the last bit of the video when I dish it up, yeah? Peace. One thing that I forgot, yeah? Shit, doesn't matter. I'll cook the bacon now. So I'm gonna cut the bacon, I'm gonna rip it into little chunks about this big, and then I'm gonna put it in, yeah? Um, before you cook the bacon, with bacon, man, the fat is bad, man. So it's always a good idea to just get the fat off. I mean, look, just get the fat off and use just the meat, yeah? Um, I'm gonna use like six pieces. I'm just gonna cook them in the same pan as I did the meat, uh, with butter. I'm gonna cook them probably medium, well, not charcoal, but quite well done. <laughs> Yeah, I like the smoky flavour. And then I'm going to basically cut it into little chunks and put it into the pan. It's the one thing I forgot. Bacon. Just thought I'd let you know that I day forget it. Because I looked at the side and I was like, I ain't used all my ingredients. I have now. So I'll see you in a bit when it's cooked. Yeah, boy. Actually, just a thing. If you've got dogs and that, what I'm going to do with the fat is I'm cooking Digby's chicken. I'm, just, I'm actually cooking Digby's chicken now, yeah? So I'm going to cook Digby's chicken, cook this, put it in his bowl, let it cool down and then I'll clean the pan out, and then I'm gonna cook my own bacon. So yeah, I'm not gonna throw all this away, I'll put it in Digby's bowl, he'll love it, man. Yeah, boy. You know, he's also gonna get some of this when it's done. He's also gonna get his own bowl for when it's done, man. That dog's looked after well, man. Hello, everybody. Well, after, it's on my face. After an hour and a half of slow cooking, I will now show you what it looks like. And we're done. Yeah, boy. This is the finished product. Finished to perfection. Try it yourselves. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like more cooking videos from the Danny G, let me know, innit? But yeah, that is Danny's carbonara. I know it don't really look like carbonara, but it tastes absolutely bloody wonderful. Yeah, right then everyone, I hope you enjoyed that little cooking from the Danny G. If you'd like to see any more cooking videos, let me know. And we will get it done. Because listen, nutrition is important. It's very, very important. You want to be a beast, you want to be a god, well you need to eat well. Yeah, this is a good meal for after the session. Um, very good meal for after the session. That plate full of food there I'd say is about a thousand calories. There's also homemade garlic bread to go on there, but it's in the oven. The way they make the homemade garlic bread. I made it. Annika makes it, yeah. Cut the garlic into tiny little pieces, right? Uh, butter, garlic, cheese in the oven. Yeah, you're gonna be a beast, and yeah, you're gonna be a <laughs> Shut up, you dickhead. That's Aiden, dickhead. Do you wanna come on camera, Aid? Nah. Yeah, come on camera, big man. Come on, come on, man, what's the matter with you, pussy? Yo, come on, come, come here, man. Come here, you and cut that little up, man. Yo, yo, he's a pussy, man. He's a fucking pussy. <laughs> Comes in with all the big chat. Won't even come on camera and say hello. Come here, mate. Come and give me a look. Come and give me, Come here. Come here. Come and go. Don't run. <laughs>
Uh, so yeah, try the meatballs yourself. Listen, you've got the whole recipe on here. The whole process of cooking it. You all know how to do it. Enjoy. Let me know in comments. Keep subbing. Keep liking. Peace out.